Love Talk Radio. Hello. <laughs> How you doing? This is Irene Ratliff. It's just so funny. I'm like, oh gosh, hurry up! You know, I need to get this uh, uh, um, call started and. You know, let's get to, you know, make sure all my stuff is right. Because, you know, I want to make sure I'm on radio all the time. I ain't going to fit to you. I really do enjoy this. I was just um, calling another station, 89.3. And I was like, ah, I ain't going to fit to you. I could be on Blog Talk Radio anywhere, you know. So the convenience of having to do this at from home is the exciting thing. So... Let me first say, yeah, big up to Blog Talk Radio. I do like the concept. I'm hoping that here it is. People are on the airwaves and they're hearing me. Uh, and I'm trying to make sure that people know it. In fact, I probably put out some flyers, just Blog Talk. Get involved, you know. But sometimes those little itty-bitty papers, if you're not explaining it, for some people they need that information. And they just hold it. A lot of people are not on the, um, a lot of people are not on, on the internet, or they just choose not to really get on it. I think maybe the way I'll do the advertisement may be, I'll maybe I tell them a blog talk street meet, call at 11.30 p.m., I don't know, something like that, to get it started, you know. But anyway, hey, today is Wednesday, June 4th, 2014, blessings. Salubrious. It is in the family of the boon, B-O-O-N, blessings. Thanks for listening to Street Meet The Point. I said the show is called Thanks for Listening to Street Meet The Point. My name is Irene Ratliff, Regal Street Meet Company. Street Meet Company is a nonprofit organization seeking partners and sponsorships such as the listening audience to help ameliorate goals that can help improve our community. Listeners, you can call 646-564-9776. I repeat the number, 646-564-9776. We are on the air up to 100, I said up to 120 minutes daily. It starts at 11.30 p.m. We are on the air up to 120 minutes daily. Now, you know I'm on a budget. This is why we need sponsors and partnerships just like you. By the grace of goodness, we are training on Blog Talk's premium package, and we would like to maintain that package. But we need your donations, please. Please visit our website at www.streetme.biz. And www.meetup.com backstreet dash meet. I want to say that um, when you go on the meetup calendar, the meetup calendar, the, when you go on the meetup.com, there's a calendar. And it's an active calendar. But the thing is, we want you to join up the street, a meetup. Meetup is free. Join, on, on, join up on meetup. Meetup is free. Your participation is free. Is, 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 is free. What we are looking for is for you to get involved in more of the activities that is going on, especially the activities that is listed on your page on meetup.com backstreet meet. Okay? So please, we encourage involvement, participation on, the, um, on our full calendar on the um, meetup.com. Okay. Um, Street Me Mingle will be on Sunday, July 6, 2014 at 2 p.m. Southwest Library and hope to see you. I got jokes. Anyway, they have a park area and if we can have drums and dance, we can create some cheer. Matter of fact, we can bring the whole, the juices, the, the, the fruits and the veggies and just have it going on. Like here it is, like, we, like we're really working on it. 
end of a beginning and an end. You know what I mean? What I mean? What I mean? What I mean? Okay. Um, today I was supposed to meet some network meeting today, but due to me being on public transportation, yes, I am on public transportation. If I miss the bus or the train, I will be late. So once I made it to the train station, I drove all the way down to Brookhaven Station. It was like it was foreign to me, even though I knew it was over there, because they stay over there. I turned around. I was going to go and to a few other organizations, but I ain't going to fib to you. I was not in the mode of elaboration. So today I spent some time watching the crowd of persons strolling through Five Point Stations. People, you matter. That's my point. <laughs> I was also supposed to attend the meeting for human and civil rights, but again, if I missed the original schedule, my representation today my representation today <laughs> yesterday <sighs> is uh, I guess uh, vigilant oh. <laughs> okay attentive <laughs> Be real. you know so anyway I was out there and just like uh uh you know and so I even, and of course there was some time between one thing and the next, but I had to take care of some paperwork, you know, I've been communicating how I've been kind of boggled with a lot of this paperwork. Once I get a lot of clutter and things are just here and there, I ain't going to fit I mean, I, I feel like, I ain't going to say, uh, it's just something in my workspace. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I can't say that, but in my workspace, it's just looking sort of kind of way. I like my area clean. I like my house clean. It's just the truth. I think that here it is when you have a clean house. And, you know, when I had my house and I was staying, I really didn't like a whole lot of stuff in my place. You know, I'm, you know, a chair or a, a this or that, that was a wrap. I was good. Small little dining table, depending on the size of the house, you know. Or here it is, the room or the area. So it just makes me wonder how, if somebody, if I have a meeting, what that would look like, you know. Maybe we have the boardroom and everything else, we maybe one seat. I don't know. <laughs> I tell you the God honest truth. I just do not like clutter. And then once I have clutter, I have to clean it up. But anyway, I had to take care of uh, the four little questions. And the lady, I said, oh, ma'am, I'm calling you because this is that and the other. She said, well, you didn't answer those four little questions. So I said, okay, I went on the Internet, and I tried to answer the four little questions. And, of course, here it is. Mm. The four little questions end up being more like a paragraph or more. <laughs> <laughs> so it took me a little longer than what it, uh, what was anticipated. So this is why here it is. There was a little uh, fumble over the time. But in any case, I'm glad that that part was done, and I had a congratulatory email, and so blessings. That part matters, even on the do not reply. <laughs> anyway, I got jokes. You had to catch up. If you don't know what I mean, I don't know what to tell you. Anyway. You know that here at this street be the point we are as open as possible about whatever is going on in the news of the day. Anyway, as I have mentioned to you before, as I mentioned to you before, I did get in contact with 89.3 FM. I was like, oh, I wonder if I could get in contact with them and try to get on their radio station for I can't elaborate the news of the day. But what convenience it is. I don't have to do much of anything. Blog Talk Radio, you got it going on. I can take my wig off, <laughs> be in my auntie, and share the news with you today. I know, I'm in the community. <laughs> so I don't know. Again, here it is. I'm just hoping somebody's out there listening to, uh, to me in La La Land. I don't know, we can give it a la 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 another name. Let's see, mm -mm, la la, then went somewhere else. All right, we'll think about it in a few. All right. Um, I need to get in contact with this one lady and write her a business card. I wanted to say that I did speak with this young lady. I have mentioned her before. I told you guys we met her at, at the doctor's inn. Her name is, so I was like, I'm not going to provide her information until I talk with her first. 
And what I began to realize is that everybody got something going on. And to tell you to gun out of shoes, that's a good thing. That's a really extremely good thing. I mean, people got their schedule, people are doing certain things, people think they're busy. Hey, you know, that's a good thing. Now we just need to make some moolah out of that, okay? So anyway, her name is Carolyn Atkins. And what it is is that she's actually a natural food chef. Her name is Carolyn Atkins, natural food chef. She's a board-certified holistic health coach. And for people who um, know it, BCHC, AADP, and raw food educator. Carolyn Healing Food Kitchen, where food is medicine, bringing you back to health one bite at a time. I like it. Anti-cancer, raw, and vegan meals prepared with whole food that transform lives. Her telephone number is 678-807-9187. Okay? And her email, or her website, rather, her website address is www.chef. C H E F Carolyn C A R O L Y N dot com. I'm trying to get her on the Google side, but don't get it twisted. I'm like, woman, you got it going on. Is it possible that we can get you on the Google side? You know, we have a one, two, three, four, five, five um, committees, and if we can get her on the Google side to communicate just that, eating good. The aspect of exercising, and she have her own testimony. Please, please visit her website. That is www.chefcarolyn.com. Um, another interesting to, thing too is that um, I was given this card. Actually, I already have this card, but I am like I have to inquire about it again. Um, this is for the Atlantis. Atlanta, Citizen Review Board, ACRB. Um, it is at the city of Atlanta. For those of you, because of my interest in Kite Society, this is why I'm sharing this with you. The ACRB, which is again the Atlanta Citizen Review Board, investigates allegations of misconduct against sworn members of the Atlanta Police Department and the Department of Correction. And so they, the types of complaints they investigate is abuse of language, false arrest, false imprisonment, harassment, use of excessive force, serious bodily injury, or that that is alleged to be the result of the action of a sworn member lesson, of the Atlanta Police Department or the Atlanta Department of Correction. Now, if you're interested, for those of you who feel like the police have done you something, okay, or here it is, you feel like you want to have a connection, you're trying to make a link or something like that, like Street Me Company, Kite Society. <laughs> the board meets every second Thursday of each month at Blessing at 6.30 p.m. at the Atlanta City Hall Committee Room 255. Trinity Avenue, Southwest Atlanta, 30303. Now, because the news is good, I'm going to repeat it again. Okay, here it is. Atlanta Citizen Review Board, ACRB. ACRB investigates allegations of misconduct against sworn members of the Atlanta Police Department and Department of Corrections. So any of these persons that are out there in the world, because we are on blogtalkradio.com backstreet meet, and our listeners can call 646-564-9776. And, of course, we always accept donations. The types of complaints they investigate are abusive, relation, abusive language, excuse me, false arrest, false imprisonment, harassment, use of excessive force, serious bodily injury, death that is alleged to be the result of actions 
of a sworn member of the Atlanta Police Department or the Atlanta Department of Correction. The board meets every second Thursday of each month at 6.30 p.m. at Atlanta City Hall in Committee Room 2. Two. All right. Honest. Okay. Fifty five Trinity Avenue, Southwest Atlanta, Georgia, three tree tree oh tree. Tree tree. Tree. Okay. Oh, those people are hard to come up with. I wanted to just share another good news with you guys. Um, we're trying to get invited. <laughs> so we're trying to get with um, the Gateway Center. Um, the reason why we want to get with the Gateway Center on 275 Prior Street, Southwest Atlanta, Georgia. We would like to do the Google Saba there and, of course, encourage them to participate with Street Me Company. So the thing is, is that I'm, the, the, I guess the objective is to try to get Street Me Company and then the Google Saba Committee to move here and there with, um, with the festive, festive table. So we do need your donations. Um, you know, I ain't going to feel to you. I'm kind of particular thinking about um, my food. You know, even while I'm serving, I open up a even Even though the package is wrapped up, my concern is what is being provided for those who are actually going to um, put those things in their mouth. Okay, I ain't going to feel to you. I, I am kind of concerned with that. But I want to say you can offer donations, but your donations can come in cash, and we will purchase the items ourselves. Okay, so the thing is, is that um, trying to get with the Gateway Center, we're in contact with the volunteer coordinator there so that we can produce the um, the Guzo Saba Festive Table at the Gateway Center. And then also, there's this, um, there's this organization, and of course I've been applying maybe about one or two times, and, you know, uh, I'm just kind of like, wow, I wonder how they actually do it. Is it per state or area or whatever? But this is lady, um, she has this great organization called AwesomeAlanta.org. Um, hey, if you got a good idea and you feel like you want to um, do something for the community, you know, hey, you could probably write her. Maybe you do have a good idea for the community. And by you hearing it from me, call me <laughs> if you want to participate. But um, it's called AwesomeAlanta.org. They give you $1,000, no strings, seriously. Okay, so the thing is, say no strings attached. If you have a brilliant idea, which I think I have many, um, if, but if you have a brilliant idea, you're able to get get a grant of up to one thousand dollars, and she will, um, or they will, you know, provide money. So prom for the elderly, march to the music, grow seaweed, paint murals, plant trees, explore nature, see the stars, cook, um, see reusable bags, and phone booths. Let me see, this is something, what is this, into art. What is this, make phone booths into art. This is some subliminal, subliminal stuff, what's this? <laughs> anyway, awesomeatlanta.org, okay? Yes, 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 participate, participate. Anyway, I wanted to elaborate on this thing as usual. Um, I wanted to make some expression of, um, <laughs> let's see, where is this information? Let me make sure I put it on my, uh, I want to say there are so many things to do and we value your support. We encourage our listeners to get involved with local associations, neighborhood club associations. Know your politicians. Know your library. 
read and research more often, locate the local law library, and build street level laws pertaining to the citizens in your area. I mean, your understanding, you know what I mean? That means that here it is a collaboration will be acknowledged not only by the grassroots and the other organizations like the churches and them, but the thing is, is that you know there is something being established. It's okay. It's legal. You know, we do have Homeland Security. Join the park and recreation departments. There are so many things to be involved and have the know. So the thing is, is be involved and know the know. Okay? How you going to my daughter right now? She says, well, mommy, I don't want to do that because I get bored. And I said, well, you prefer to stay at home all day on day? She don't want to go outside and explore what's going on in the world, but she wants to stay at home and, and, and talk about how she bored. Ain't that something? Okay, hold up. She she had living on my radio station. Hold up. And you know, um, you know, they're young, so that means that they start going back and forth and getting verbal with their parents. You know, I can't go into all of that. I'm broadcasting the news. <laughs> and yeah, so here it is. Sometimes those things go up and down. <laughs> And yet here it is. I know that I'm a good mom. I do. And I'm glad that my children are here with me, keeping my company. But moving right along from there. Uh, <laughs> I guess sometimes they keep you on your toes. And sometimes I guess they keep me on mine. My toes. I'm blessing. Blessing. Thank you. Um, I want to also say today, since I didn't make it to the um, Human and Civil Rights meeting, I was like, well, let me go ahead and peep out a route. Now, I told those folks I was going to try to meet them over there on Cascade. I ain't going to lie to you. I fear. <laughs> I ain't walking to nobody Green Briar. I ain't walking to nobody Cascade. Do you know I went up the road? And I went and went down this street, went down that street. By the time I come back around, it took me two hours. Now, that's the route. <laughs> right here up in the places here and there. I was like, I ain't going to fit to you, honey. I, we don't have to be sightseeing, even though I would like to have the encouragement. So I decided I'm going to just put some little notes on some, some of these people's doors and windows or whatever they got going on. Excuse me. <laughs> I let them know that here it is. I'm out there. One, to get in, 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 I guess, get them involved in exercising. I guess they could pick what time they'll be interested in exercise, and I think that that would be ideal. But for me to remotely, uh, I guess, state that I would walk from here to Greenbrier, uh, maybe later on once we meet some other people, maybe I might go ahead and take that walk. I don't know. I just know that I found a route that actually was two hours long. Now it's like, well, is it me? Because sometimes when I'm out there and I'm walking, I'm actually doing more conditioning. I do a little walk, I do a little jog, and I do do conditioning. And conditioning is when you lift your legs, you're, you know, moving your arms, you're doing certain things to the point that here it is, the thought was, should I get some skate? Now, I'm like, here it is, I think I should get some skates, but then I'm like, hmm, you know, that's a whole lot of work with them skates too, girl. I mean, man, <laughs> whatever you want to call yourself. <laughs> I was like, wow, you know, I don't know. Going up them hills with them skates, I guess it's a little bit better than going up them just walking. But I know the, the bike you have to get off and walk it, at least on a beach cruiser with a 10 speed, you probably be able to do it. So again, the encouragement, as usual, is to promote the exercising and the yoga. We do want to be a reflection of our community, so that means that we must participate in exercising. I know, it's difficult. I ain't going to feel to you. I didn't want to make that little walk that I did make, and when I was out there walking, I want to hear it as all my sweetness, which is my fatness, to be... But I know that it in itself requires some work. So, you know, when they do those commercials, um, when they get that um, insanity commercial about exercise and exercising and he gives you those little pointers about how you can lower your stomach, 
if you don't go ahead and get the information on YouTube, well, just look at some of those things and walk up and down the street and use them. So that's the aspect of that, <laughs> of that conditioning. You know, I do an extended extension of um, conditioning exercise while I'm, I, while I'm walking. Um, I wanted to say that the hula hoop was good, but I think the hula hoop is actually, actually more effective for people who may be at a mid-size. Um, you know, I, I was doing a hula hoop, and I really didn't find a hula hoop to be all that effective, but I used to like hula hooping up to 30 minutes a day. Now, the thing is, in terms of, let's just say, stretching and the capacity of being able to whine and, and, and actually juggle the hula hoop blessing, that right there, um, when you look at hula hoop and being able to look at how you're able to hold on to the, the hula hoop and balance, whether you use it in your arms, well, at that point, when you think about exercise, it's a good thing. Man. I do encourage you to go out there with your females. Help her exercise. She's going to like you for it. Because she knows that here it is. You proud of her? She knows that and you know that. Because here it is. You have comforted her, comforted her and she has comforted you. But yet here it is. It is, uh, 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 it is. It is beneficial to the relationship to share the exercise. We know that there is a lot of uh, large women with skinny men, vice versa. And me, women, we want to encourage our men to go out there and exercise. Now, I ain't going to fib to you. I did about two hours a day, and I did maybe about five minutes of yoga. But yet, we want to involve that because... That seemed to be the most hardest thing for us to do. Here it is, a lot of people have conversed about it, and I know a lot of people have talked to me about exercising and getting in shape. How are you going to get upset with, how, how does a person get upset with another person when they're trying to encourage them to lose some weight? That means that somewhere in there, the discipline got to start. And I ain't going to feel to you, honey, I've been having this little thing here, mm -hmm. and then having this little thing here, mm -hmm. and having that little thing here, mm -hmm. but then when I look at all this stuff, like the walking and all that, I'm like, ooh, got all these dumbbells and all that kind of stuff, if I didn't do that and I drank more water, I would probably have that physique that I knew I had before I had children. <laughs> anyway, that's talking about physique. But let's talk about the health aspect of it. Here it is, us walking, it's our health. We have, in, in terms of here it is, the Onyx community, here it is, a lot of us, um, a, a lot of them, a lot of us, a lot of you, a lot of we, actually have heart disease. There is diabetes in our community. And so the best way to try to address these things is to get physically involved and to, for real, slim down. If not, not use these products or items, which is those starchy products and those processed food items, and, and, and as much as possible. Okay, and of course, with you, with a man, you will always try to encourage a man to have veggies and fruit. A woman don't make sure that here it is her man have veggies and fruit. Something is wrong. Because the thing is, is that he needs that nutrient. Okay, so here, bland food and all that kind of stuff. Say, so, uh huh, it's all right to have some rice and peas all all day, but hold on. A woman should always make sure that here it is, not collard greens. Now, if you're gonna do some collard greens, it's almost best to add the trim up the collard greens and make coleslaw. Making collard greens, to tell you the truth, it loses its nutrients once you cook it. A lot of people think they're getting a lot of vitamin C and that they're getting the nutrients from that. But I'm going to let you know right now, do not cook them collard greens. Put those collard greens in coleslaw. When was the last time people made fresh coleslaw? I'm sure y'all women made it. Y'all, a lot of these women. Stop buying all that processed food for them children. 
I know. I'm talking smack. I ain't going to feel you. I like that processed food myself. So we just have to work on it, right? <laughs> the Google Saba. Moving right along from there. So anyway, I do have a little route uh, that, um, like I said before, I tried out this little route today, going up this road and that road. And um, wow, Ooh, it took me two hours to go around and come back around. I did a little jogging, a little leg lifting, huh? And then when I came back home, I I ate some some something. And I'm like, the summer is here, okay? So people are already in their bathing suits. So we can sit here and say January one. So that means here it is. We have January one every day. So that means we do good. So we just try or wean ourselves off for certain things. All right, okay. Moving right along from there, I wanted to um, reiterate that Maguzo Saba in the Seven Principles. We also have True Amelioration, which is CWD. There is also the Kite Society. There is also Tulips, and of course we have Blog Talk. We are interested in people participating with Street Meat Company. We're calling out for your participation, your sponsorship. We're looking for good people so that here it is we can participate in what that thing is. So I am thankful to um, have certain collaborations with um, certain with other organizations that are out there doing certain things. And um, I've been um, graced with some of the presence of some of the people who are vital in the community and doing certain things. And one of the projects that was com of communication this evening is membership with the ULU. And I don't know if many of you are familiar with the ULU, but it's us lifting us. Now, the thing is, is that there is um, a gentleman, he's uh, very helpful on the phone, they're looking for members, and they're also looking for people to invest in a project idea. Now, I was able to actually look at the idea from a visionary standpoint, and I think it's a good idea, even though, even though, excuse me, the preference would have been something a little different from my perspective. The goals of them is just that. They have an agenda. They have an objective. And what can I do? Oh, I can admire that and appreciate that too. So of course, as um, many um, organizations that are looking for membership, here it is, your participation and your donation matters. So if you have any um, information, um, I apologize, I don't have their um, website um, up front, but it's us lifting us. Let me look and see if I can go ahead and pull that up. Um, what else? Today, or well, tomorrow, I actually have a, um, a function to attend, and the function tomorrow will teach, um, actually, I'm going to a teaching class tomorrow. So, as I stated before, if you can go on, um, street meet, excuse me, meetup.com, street, back street dash meet, you'll see that we have a full schedule. One moment. I don't know. I really don't have much to communicate this evening. Though I did say that I was going to have some communication about education. Um, I want those who have an interest in education to hear just this, not just this, but I think that here it is an effective tool for those who seem to have an interest with um, our youth and education. What it, what it is, is that if we look, one moment, let me look at um, Us Lifting Us. Us Lifting Us is an economic development cooperative. It is a global economic movement designed to change the paradigm of how we build relationships 
with members of the Onyx diaspora. Okay, so they're also looking for co-ops. And so you'll find it where it states usliftingus.com. For those who are looking for that information, going on to education. There were maybe about a month ago, they had a, a Congress. And the thought was, in terms of the education aspect of it, let me make sure I put these little notes on my, on my, um, my notes. I don't mind sounding redundant as long as they hear it, because I know that you're hearing it. And knowing that here it is a listening audience, especially those who are avid listeners, to be able to take advantage of what that thing is. And what is that? Improving our community. Okay. So anyway, education. If we were able to just say, for an example, of course the interest is to uh, is to actually embrace the young men who are actually trailing our education system. Some are being really successful at their approach and and their aim, and then here it is: we do have a few that needs the structure of the buddy system. Now, if we could get our young men who who are have some strength, or excuse me, not some, a strength in math, and they're strong writers in English. Um, maybe they have some involvement with some science or engineering. Then we want we the objective of us, of us as the community, or here it is that you teach the teachers to have a particular eye, would be to actually have a. Uh, 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 a team already at the school so that they acknowledge these students, you understand? So that when it comes down to their education or when it comes down to them exiting the middle school lessons, that they could actually participate in the succession of what is needed. You know, oh, they don't know no math. Oh, here it is. They don't know how to do this. Oh, they don't know how to write. Oh, no, no. Wait a minute, we have a lot of people that do. The assumption to assume that here it is we don't value education is the part that is incorrect. Okay? Because we do value education. Now, if the young people, again, I ain't going to fail to you, my interest would be here it is the young men. And the reason why I state the young men is because the young, our young men are actually um, need more of the, need a little bit more TLC when we look at those who have actually finished um, at the collegiate level. When we look at between communities and neighborhoods, okay, and so when we look at that, what should be considered? is that when the youth actually graduate from middle school, that they shall already, like when they go to the summer camp, that they will already be aligned or assigned to go into the summer camp. So it will be the teacher's responsibility to let whatever team that is know that here it is, these kids have a specialty in science, math, and technology, okay? Because the thing is, is as long as we're able to have those youth and embrace them, what happens is that, or not what, well, what we're seeking is to bring forth the brilliance of their their studies or their interests, and here it is, certain subjects that, it, that, that was communicated as underachievers, okay? So leaving from middle school, they'll go to a camp, right, where they're actually um, prepared to do certain activities such as um, hunting, fishing, or whatever those activities are, okay, that young men should know, boy scouting materials, and then we'll team them up, you know, four to six, however it go, and whether they're studying 
um, culture around the world or if it have anything to do with those sciences, they are partnered up in their body system. Now, after they, while they're attending the summer camp and they go into the school, what happens is that they can maintain the buddy system. Whenever four to six are there, they go to school together and they study together. Okay, and the reason why is because it can provide the reliance on one member of their group to another. And it promotes the unity that is necessary while you're going to school. A lot of the kids do feel lonely. And yet if we're able to establish that thing, maybe we'll get less people um, uh, less people uh, um, drop it out of school before they graduate. Graduation is a beautiful thing, and achieving that is a small thing. They have other areas of education, such as college and so forth and so on. But anyway, they will buddy up, maybe four to six people, okay? So with that buddy system, bless me, um, that right there will to say, okay, say for example, they want to go and um, one want to learn mathematics. Well, when we place them in these groups, then everyone goes for mathematics, okay? So that means that they're going to each class together collectively. And so whatever mannerism is taught, that they should have a basic understanding about what that thing is in terms of the do, Okay? So now, bless you, now they're, I got you, thank you. Now they're going to school and the buddy system. And I wanted to um, inter iterate this, um, and I will do it again, and it's learning, building bridges through language, learning another language. So anyway, when we look at terminology, especially for those who are going into medicine, here it is, the check and balance of those relationships is necessary. Okay, so anyway, they go to school and they maintain the school um, program the way that it is together. Okay, once they finish school, finish high school, they can have the option of going to the Army, traveling the world, huh, or going straight to college. Now, them attending... I'm going to the service, well, they'll go to the service. Our men, they need the structure. They need the discipline. I don't get, understand, why here it is, half of them run around here with their pants half down on their bottom. They don't think they hear this, that should be, they need discipline. <laughs> okay. Take them chains off. <laughs> For real. Now, when we look at, here it is, the scope of being able to travel around the world, then that means that the concept of um, the camp and the buddy system has been applied. Bless you. Bless you. What, what, what do you mean by that? Well, um, you can actually or literally, our, our youth should be able to travel. No, not should be able to travel. They should be ready to travel, rather. So what do you mean? So say for an example, they spent a year traveling the world. Okay, maybe they think you could say, well, where you would like to go to travel? They say, well, I want to go to Asia. They send them to Asia. I want to go to India. I want to go to Europe. I want to go finding out what their interests are and say, okay, spend some time traveling there. You know, and it's like, well, once you go to one place, you act like you know them all. But that is not entirely true. So the thing is, is from the military, right, now here it is, the option to actually go travel for a year or so. Okay, it could be more than that. Okay, and, and, and while they're exploring this, volunteering in the nature and whatever, in the elements of the WWW. Okay? Now, say here it is, the youth, them, they decide that they want to go straight to high school. Uh, excuse me, straight to college. Well, then they'll go ahead and attend college. Okay, they're in that buddy system. And they continue to flow uh, with, us, with the assigned classes that they have chosen in the university. And, of course, that will be with our mentorship. That wouldn't just be a loose guide. The reason why is not to sit here and shun those who have went to school for social work or psychology. 
But we just that we have a whole lot of them and people sitting in different places and we look like we look. It's just time to move forward and probably even decide on some other things that will be effective in terms of education. Picking out certain things such as engineering, okay, to say, you know what, things go beyond um, hip-hop. Yet here it is, hip-hop is just that. You know what I mean? What I mean? What I mean? What I mean? It would be good to even have them change some of them lyrics, encouraging our men to go to get an education. We shouldn't assume that here it is, they are right. So that being said, yes, with mentors, and these mentors will make sure that here it is, the process of whatever route they're going or attending is successful. That's why mentors are there, mentors. Okay? So anyway, they go to school, and here it is. Hopefully, they will receive their bachelor's or their master's and, of course, their Ph.D. We need more people involved in medical science. Okay, and the research and development end of science. Just don't go to the doctor and not know that here it is as an extension of all the things that he got going on. Because it is. Okay? So thinking outside the box so that you can extend the education of what that is. And that part is true. Okay? And the importance of learning an additional language it is important. And especially when you're doing business. Um, I want to say for Naguzo Saba, we are looking for people who know how to make jewelry from the pistachio shells. The request was to try to get people to mail in their pistachio shells. Or I'll try to find a location that is conveniently located to where I am. So that you, maybe there's people who may be interested in dropping off, um, I guess, that gift, the presence of what? Pistachio shell. So we could do some art with that. I know those bags are kind of expensive, so when you do see the Naguzo Saba art, you'll know that here it is. It is expensive, and that's a good thing. That means that we're aiming for quality. Thank you, pistachio, and your vitamin E. <laughs> also, um, can be in congratulatory to, here it is, some of the people who may be in um, certain films and, and television. And the thing is, is that our interest is to talk about Street Me Greenhorn. Now, Street Me is there, but the tone of Greenhorn means apprentice. We are looking for people who will be interested in housing, um, housing the, the the street meat nonprofit Greenhorn, where it focuses on apprenticeship, like something similar to um, Donald Trump and the apprenticeship, but on the nonprofit entity, meaning they they'll go out there and seek all the things that they need to seek to make that business flow in terms of true amelioration. All right, what else is going on for the day? So education, education, education. It is important. Meaning that even right now, a lot of our young men um, we need to find out if they do have um, their high school diploma. If they don't have it, we need to encourage them. So I want to say there is a telephone number um, and, and the program, I think I mentioned it yesterday, it's called Literacy Action. You meet somebody that do, there are programs out there in some of their neighboring churches. They also have it too. Um, but if you see somebody out there, know somebody who needs to further their education, what we want to do is encourage them to attain their collegiate degree. Is that true? Yes. I mean, um, high school diploma. We encourage that. Anyway, I was trying to see if I have the number right off the back. I have to look through my phone and provide the number. But I think it's literacy action. Literacy action. 
Um, hold on, I provided this message to somebody and I'll have it for you in just a few moments. Literacy Action's telephone number is... Um, one moment, please. Well, for some reason, it's not coming up. But they have these programs that are available there. I have to go through the archives and pull up the information. So let me look at it on the Internet. One moment, please. And I'll provide that information to you. It's just not readily available on my desk. Or, excuse me, on my table. Um, also, um, and of course we could collaborate with that. There are some people out there that's doing a, a world of this, that, and the other, and I guess in itself it's important. Literacy Action, Inc. Their telephone number is 404-818-7323. Okay? For those who need to finish your high school diploma, okay, it's such a small thing. You can get that done. Apply and achieve. That's the truth. Please. Education. We have the trombone. Excuse me, not the trombone. The tambourine. The saxophone. And the shell rockers, the maracas, but that one that has those Cairo shells. Tambourine, the uh, maraca with the Cairo shells, and then saxophone. Thus far, those are the instruments of Street Me Company. Well, this evening, I guess the conversation is going to be... Um, the parameters of saying good night. <laughs> um, it's really been a long day for me. At least it seems so. Like I said, um, I exercise and I dashed here and dashed there. And um, just kind of got a little, you know, like, hey, you know, I have to create this regimen about my schedule so that I can be um, effective and I don't appear, you know, tired or a restless or whatever it is. Just try to maintain that um, vigor in terms of being um, cognitive to other people's instructions or lessons or talks or whatever they got going on. Well, anyway, thanks for joining Street Meet, The Point. And um, listeners are able to call in 646-564- 9776 Oh yeah, I also wanted to make this announcement too. As far as some of these facilities that actually are housing some of the homeless people. I want to say that these homeless people really should be the ones that are involved in um, the homeless uh, persons should be the ones should be volunteering, volunteering in our community. Okay, they're receiving services, right? Yes, this should be without any hesitation that the homeless. Um, they can write down that information, but the homeless people should be participating with well, most of these places that are seeking people to participate with them. The reason why I make it that expression is that if they were participating in the volunteer programs that are available here and there, the possibilities of them being able to find work within the organizations that they're working for is good. 
it literally is good. All right. So the homeless people, they need to pick up and they need to find out where they can go and um, where they can go to um, volunteer. Okay? All right, like I said before, um, it is uh, the evening is, is um, winding down. Um, thanks for joining the Street Meat Company. Thanks for joining the Street Meat The Point listening audience. And hope to have your support. We accept donations, crowdfunding support, and your participation. Everyone is valuable in your participation to help yourself family, community, local, state, region, federal, and global community relies on the many people that may have contributed or that they have contributed to it being a, to it being an effective society or structure. Please visit our website, www.streetmeet.biz, and our connect partner, www.meetup.com backstreet-meet. Thanks again. Have a good night.